Hello Taurus, welcome to a bonus love reading. Uh, it's going to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate for everyone, but we'll see what we get for you. Let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides. Messages for Taurus, please. What does Taurus need to know about love? Who or what is coming towards them when it comes to love? Messages. I want these three. Okay, we have hidden feelings. Don't let fear keep you from revealing your true feelings. Poetic justice, fairness, balance, karma. You will have justice and balance will be restored. And mirrored souls. Okay, so this is a card about um, soulmate, fate, um, mutual feelings. You're feeling the same about each other. Interesting. I feel like with hidden feelings, hmm. Maybe this hasn't been communicated. And then at the bottom of the deck, I have secret admirer. So yeah, some of you definitely have um, a connection with someone where maybe you haven't, you or them haven't been open about how you truly feel. So let's see. Give me some insight, please, for our spirit. What does Taurus need to know regarding love? Yeah, for Taurus. Two of Cups, Reverse. Yeah, for Taurus. I don't know why, but I want to flip the card, so. There you are, Taurus, showing up to your own reading with the Hierophant. Messages for. Six of Swords, Reverse. Someone here could be um, wanting to make some sort of a return. I feel like they want to recover what they've lost with the Five of Cups reverse. Something's missing um, and they want it back. Um, I feel like there was a separation between you in the past or perhaps there. Um, okay, the message I got. Some of you weren't even in a romantic connection with someone. There was something there, but it never materialized. That's for some of you. So let's see. Tell me about this Two of Cups reverse. Here, what's this Two of Cups about? Knight of Swords and Four of Pentacles reversed. So I feel like someone might be wanting to talk to you and then have judgment at the bottom of the deck. And then right behind that, the Eight of Cups reversed. Yes. I feel like this is someone that, uh, this might be a very simple reading. Um, we'll see. Uh, but I feel like this is definitely somebody who wants another try. Um, maybe they left in the past or something never really took off, but they want to at least talk and see, you know, how you feel, rebalance the situation. This could be you as well, but I, I'm picking up that for a lot of you. This is the other person. Page of Swords reverse, King of Wands reverse. Hmm. Knight of Wands, reverse the Hermit. Interesting. So I don't know who um, caused the breakup, but I feel like someone might have lied or they kept something from you. I feel like this person, they know if, if, if they're the ones that did something, kept something from you, deceived you, or... Um, got themselves into like a player like situation uh, they know what they did but I feel like it was a loss for them I don't think they've told this to you because I have hidden feelings here and I have the page of swords rivers. Um but I feel like with the knight of swords it's like they want to at least test the waters which is weird that I'm getting that with that card because the knight of swords is about like quick blunt in your face communication um but i'm not picking that up it's really weird i'm getting like this message of i wonder what they think you know how would they react if i were to just show up <laughs> i don't know how would you react to us tell me about the higher font what's going on here with the higher font Eight of Pentacles. 
Anything else? The Empress Reverse. So a lot of energy, a lot of effort is needed here to grow something. Yeah, because there was a lot of disappointment or maybe someone's not ready for this. Knight of Cups Reverse. Bottom of the deck, the Queen of Wands. I feel like someone's attracted to you. I feel like you are a special energy for them. I feel like you are not someone they can ignore for whatever reason. I don't know if you work together with this person. That could be a possibility. But more than anything, I feel like um, if this person, like, let's say they disappointed you in some way, I feel like they haven't forgotten you. For others of you, I don't think you're happy with this person. Yeah, they want they want things to work out. Six of Wands. Six of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. This is someone that's actively working on something, trying to get recognition. Yeah, the lovers, Gemini energy. I mean, this is someone that definitely they they think of you as someone special. I still am getting that group that you've never been with this person romantically, although there's something there. But with the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, the Empress Reverse, the Knight of Cups Reverse, is this message of like a lot of work needs to happen here for something to be solid. Tell me about the Six of Swords Reverse. This person could have mo moved away at some point point in life or just you drifted apart here tell me more about the six of swords reverse death card scorpio energy tell me more about the six of swords six of cups reverse so someone's not over the past I feel like something did change or end between you and this person. I feel like you definitely drifted apart. With the Two of Wands reverse, King of Wands reverse here, some of you are probably dealing with someone who was unfaithful in some way or betrayed you in some way or just was deceptive. But I'm also picking up, you know, for some of you, let's see. Tell me more about this Two of Wands reverse. Because for me as a reader, this card can sometimes, depending on the other cards in the spread, can mean that someone wanted to have both paths. They wanted to have their cake and eat it too. Spirit, can you provide some insight into this Two of Wands reverse? The World reverse. So I feel like this is, okay, no, but then I have the Knight of Wands reverse. So I feel like there was a lack of closure here due to someone's actions. Maybe someone doesn't want a situation to completely end, but the other one doesn't. I see that as well. And it's very interesting. I feel like some, this person, whoever they are, I feel like they're really focused on having things be right, but it takes two to tango. You need to be on board as well. So let's see, where's all of this headed? I'm actually gonna just start from scratch. Ooh. Spirit, where is all of this headed? For Taurus. And this connection. What's next? What's next? Taurus. Wow, Ace of Coin with the Nine of Cups reverse. Six. 
Nine of Wands reverse and the Moon, Pisces energy. Um, I feel like when this offer comes, I feel an offer is definitely coming. Um, I feel like you're going to have questions, confusion, maybe, um, maybe you're not going to be trusting of this offer. Yeah, Knight of Wands again at the bottom of the deck. Um, I feel like if you were to accept this person, it would be on your terms. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. It's like your terms only. Uh, Ace of Swords Reverse. So be careful because I have the Ace of Swords Reverse in the Moon here. So, yeah. This person might just not be the best communicator. Uh, maybe they are not emotionally balanced, like they might have some inner child healing to do, or perhaps Eight of Cups Rivers. Um, they don't know how to express themselves to you. So I feel like they might blow it here. <laughs> um, I feel like maybe they just don't want to tell you every little thing. Maybe out of fear that, you know, you'll reject them or perhaps they're just not, pre again, not prepared to communicate in the way that you need them to. Yeah, I don't like this energy with the King of Wands reverse and the moon. So basically just be careful. Um, use your intuition, you know. I feel like maybe they have the right intentions or good intentions, but their delivery is not, yeah, not the best. Five of Swords. Um, maybe because they lost you once or they ruined it once before, maybe that has caused them to, I don't know, not really think about things very well because it's coming out of this nervous, anxious energy, right? Like the, there's, there's something to lose now. And so there's probably nerves or anxiety or something to do with like, I can't lose again. So how do I? How do I present this to Taurus in a way that they hear me out, right? And so they might be extra careful with you, but f to you it might sound fishy, like, I don't trust you. <laughs> so, you know, keep that in mind. I feel like others of you, this might be a completely new opportunity, uh, something that is outside of this person, and I feel like they're going to be heartbroken if you take it. I see that as well here. Oh my God, the Knight of Cups again. Reverse. We keep getting kind of similar energy here. And Temperance. So maybe you just need time. Um, Sagittarius energy. But I feel like for a lot of you, you are at a different level now. You are possibly um, not just willing to just take whatever someone gives you. You probably have, I don't know, expectations or standards now. Which doesn't surprise me because Tauruses have been on this like leveling up cycle where they're really recognizing their worth. And I feel like, I don't know, maybe this person just doesn't know how to handle this new you. <laughs> Let me know if that resonates for you, Taurus. So I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully this... Um, reading resonated like I was saying if it did leave me a comment let me know check out the playlist if um this resonated for you somewhat because I feel like these are really can I, I feel that the Taurus readings that I've been doing in my channel have been kind of connected somehow like a serial um and you've had some really beautiful readings recently so um yeah, let me know if this resonated for you. Check out the playlist, hit the like button, and subscribe if you enjoy these readings and want to see more from me. And I will see you on another video very soon. Take care.